peace be with you friends friends are you wondering that how should i love god you know and what am i supposed to do in this lockdown what is god asking me to do in this lockdown so i have this video for you, for you and it's specially made because um i think this is the most important video and so please do watch it so you know what like when i encountered the lord i i was really really in love with him so much in love with him that uh, i used to just keep on thinking of him every day every night i used to keep thinking what is what am i supposed to do and uh, you know even my college friends used to ask me sometimes uh, why are you smiling all the time like and i'm like i i don't know what to tell them because it's just the thought of jesus used to give me so much smile that i i just was not able to share that with them like why am i smiling all the time and uh, so i wanted to share something with you like how my love for jesus increased how did i practice it what did i do exactly not to tell you or boast you about anything because i know like i'm still struggling a lot but whatever i could do and i i learned from the holy spirit and i did i want to share with you all so if you ask jesus what is the first thing he he wants from you and me so he is going to tell us the same thing which he told the people who are there in the bible he said love the lord your god with all your heart with all your mind with all your strength with all your soul and uh, there is and love your neighbor as yourself so these are the most important commandments so if you want to love people the first commandment has to be done in the right manner and uh, theory is always good but when it comes to practical how can we love god so that's what i want to share with you so firstly loving god with all of your heart so i remember that uh, we have an idea of love and that is very different from what god has so love is basically uh, god god is love and for us love is always something about a feeling and an emotion or that thing which uh, which excites us or makes us crazy so i feel that over the time what i learned about love is like uh, love is in the present because love is god and god is love and if god is love i can love him any time and be filled with love so you know i have so a heart is basically not always with god you know when we pray it is all, almost many a time because we want something from god god please do this fatafat ye you know please pray i am praying for this that lord please uh, make sure this happens lord please do this and we are crying complaining or something or the other many a times we uh, tend to come to the lord not with a heart it is always like if in if i do a prayer it is always like okay this is a pattern of prayer i will sit i'll do in certain certain way and which is right like sometimes we have an order for prayer we have verbal prayers which are very good but a heart is somewhere else you know a heart is not with god itself you know heart has so much compartments one is for our parents one is for our friends one is for this or that or one is for a future spouse if you have not met him or uh, many things and therefore we give a very small piece to jesus of our heart and sometimes not even that small piece and even if we give it we take it back from him because we want it so i think uh, we have to take all these parts and f- give our whole heart to jesus what i'm saying is basically not waiting upon your future spouse that that person will be give you that love which you are longing Jesus is love believe me so not waiting for any kind of attention or appreciation sometimes we give that part of our heart to a uh, to a husband or a wife thinking that this person will love me some day so that expectations are building up and that expectations will disappoint you if that person does not love you so why not take your whole heart and give it to Jesus so am i telling you not to love uh, people no certainly not i'm telling you if you love god properly you will be able to love people more your capacity for love will increase so love him with all of your heart take all the pieces of your heart tell him jesus i want to love you with all of my heart then comes how, all of your mind how to love him with 
all of your mind and for that reason uh, your mind and my mind is very uh, you know we are distracted a lot our mind is into so many things that we are not able to focus with and mind on the lord so you know if you are in love with anybody you'll keep thinking about that person you keep thinking about that person day and night like what should i do to make this person happy uh, what can i do this that so you know that is how your mind should always love god like thinking about him like what can i do how can jesus uh, be happy like if i forgive this person or if i love this person if i do this particular task which i don't like actually so that is how you can love god with all your mind that is to think about him to think about what he wants not what you want then uh, loving god with all of your strength so you know workout is a is something not not easy for many of us and some of some of us uh, love doing workout and exercise so you know strength like you take care of your body by eating properly working it out with all your strength and you are loving god because you are the temple of the holy spirit and believe me when you take care of your body uh, you are taking you are doing glorifying god in your body it's not because of uh, you know people may have certain different intentions also to take care of his body but it has to be directed to the love of god like uh, working like if you are working there is some kind of strength involved in it or uh, even if there is not no kind of strength involved in it but making sure that any kind of activity you are doing you are doing it because you love jesus and you are doing it for him you can love in that way with all of your strength with all of your thoughts mind soul is basically by keeping away from sin by doing what he wants you to do and mainly when you are filled with see without uh without filling yourself with his love you cannot love so if you have a car and there is no diesel or there is no petrol in your car your car is not going to move so sitting in prayer spending quality time with jesus is very important because he is the one who is going to give you love that is the holy spirit and with that love in your heart you can love him and others and without that everything will be just a task it will not be love you know so your service should also flow from love so what i've learned over the time is like when i am in love with jesus when i'm filled with his love then everything seems very easy that is loving people seems easy forgiving people seems easy doing what he wants me to do seems easy because i am happy i am fulfilled because god loves me and i am aware of his love i'm accepting his love that doesn't mean that i'm not uh, going wrong like i repent for all the times i've not done whatever he wants me to do but i get up again and why we need to love him is very important i'm going to tell share with you that's in matthew chapter 7 verse 24 onwards you read it in your bible it says that everyone everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them so it's basically not theory it's about practical they are like the wise man who built his house upon the rock who is the rock jesus himself the rain fell the floods came the winds blew and beat on the house but it did not fall because it has been founded on the rock and everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them is like a foolish man who built his house upon the sand and the rain fell the floods came and the house was totally gone so what is the word which basically jesus if you want to sum up the bible into one word that is love god and love neighbor so loving god if you are doing it effectively you can love neighbor as well so that's how keep loving god in this lockdown and find a purpose and meaning because without love there's nothing and god is love thank you bye bye